Hey everybody, so today I thought that I would just pop on and pop off real quick um, and show you guys a quick side dish that I'm about to make for my family. This recipe that I'm going to um, share with you guys is very simple and guess what, it's all to taste. So you mix and match your own herbs, whatever you have in your home. It's very simple, very easy. It's two pots, two pots in one bowl. If you're just making it at home, you don't need all these little prep things uh, going on. So it's very, very simple. So let's get started. Again, you can make this with potatoes. You can make this with carrots. You can make this with turnips, uh, rutabagas, whatever root vegetable you have at home, you can make this same dish with, even if you have spaghetti squash instead of taking the squash out of the 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 um peeling you would add the garlic and the herbs to the spaghetti squash pop it in the oven and roast it um that way all right so let's get started what i have here already prepared is some butternut squash very very close to the texture of a sweet potato to me um not as sweet as a sweet potato but you can use it in substitution for a sweet potato, okay? And then I have a nice bowl of herbs, um, nothing specific. I have rosemary, thyme, I have some flat leaf, Italian parsley, I have some basil, okay? I also have my beautiful container of elephant garlic. Here are my herbs right here. And I have my butternut squash right here. And I have some salt, some pepper, and for me, because I love to enhance the sweetness of the um, butternut squash, I also have some of my Spiceology granulated brown sugar, okay? All right, so I just do a very quick um, dice of my butternut squash. You do not have to be extra for this, okay? Just dice it up really nice. All right, so this goes into a pot of water and I put some salt in my water and you can just go ahead and pop that in there. Okay. Butternut squash doesn't take as long as sweet potatoes to um, cook. I will say that it's a very quick, um, boil on these sweet potatoes they're not as dense but it's not as dense as a sweet potato which makes cooking really really quick right all right so the next thing is, is we have our skillet on to um get our herbs all ready for the potatoes now i've already done some potatoes ahead of time and this is what they look like i've done a quick boil on them and they're fork tender <clears throat> okay, so we are going to warm up our, our skillet. We're going to pull out our herbs here. We're going to take our time and pull off the leaves. Let's get the rosemaries off, the little leaves off the rosemary, because we're going to just chop all of this up. So now that we got all the stems out, we are going to just hack at this really well, really good while our skillet is and again i have basil uh italian parsley rosemary some thyme and we're gonna saute some garlic and get it smelling so good salt pepper and then we are going to just add a little bit of our granulated um, brown sugar so I don't have granulated brown sugar, Dorian. Can I use regular brown sugar? You sure can. Just add it very, very, a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. You don't want it too sweet. You just want to add a little bit of sweetness to it. Now we're going to add for the, for one time in my life, I'm not going to use butter. I'm going to use olive oil. So we're going to add some olive oil to our skillet. We're going to turn our skillet down to a seven. I'm using an electric stove. Then we're gonna add our garlic. Okay. 
we're going to saute that up real real quickly and it smells terrific and we just want to impart just a little bit of color not too much you don't want to burn your garlic right no burn it turns bitter if you do so you don't want to have to start all over all right so our garlic is in let's go ahead and add our herbs uh-oh we're gonna stir those around real quick really really quickly okay we're gonna turn our fire off right then we're gonna add our butternut squash and we got just a little bit of water from the butternut squash that's gonna help us uh, spread these herbs around man look at that Yes, let's add a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Okay, and I'm adding some of my granulated brown sugar just to add a little bit of sweetness to it because I like it like that. Oh my God. All right, so. This is our end result. Oh, it looks good. Okay. Get all that goody, that garlic, and all those herbs out of your skillet. Don't leave nothing behind. And that there is our herb and garlic butternut squash. Mm -hmm. 